All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Uh, today we're doing our affiliate marketing course, so we're on lesson 11, and we're going to go over how to set up your social media profiles and exactly what you want to do when you're going about social media marketing. <clears throat> this won't be built around a strategy or anything like that, but really just the initial setup of your profiles. So what we've done here is uh, we've started with four different social channels that we're going to use. Um, so we have Twitter here, we have our Pinterest account, we have our Instagram account, and we have a Facebook page. And so as you can tell, it's all pretty bare bones. We have nothing really added yet. All we've done is add our URL to all the different services. Um, so that's that's really where you want to start, is just set up your pages, add your URL. Um, not everything's going to be perfect. So you can see we have like Farmhouse Goals here, uh, at Farmhouse Goals on Twitter. Um, farmhouse Goals we were able to get on Pinterest. We had to do Farmhouse underscore Goals on Instagram. And on Facebook, we have farmhouse decor goals. So if you don't, if you can't find exactly what you have, you could just adjust it. And as long as it's similar, because uh, all the profiles, everyone will know that it's our brand. So what we've done is we've come over here to Hootsuite. So if you've never heard of Hootsuite.com, it's a social scheduling platform. And it's they have all sorts of different things you can do. So they have professional plan, team plan, and business plan. Uh, business is if you have a huge business. So 50 social profiles, unlimited scheduling. Uh, so what we're going to do is come down here, and if you keep scrolling down, you can see try our limited free plan. And that includes three social profiles, 30 scheduled messages, and one user. So we're going to add the limited free plan for Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, so Pinterest we're going to do separately. We're not going to use Hootsuite to schedule our pins or anything like that. Uh, so what all we want to do over here is click sign up now. I'm going to sign up, and then I'll guide you through the process of connecting some of the social channels. Okay, so before we connect everything with Hootsuite, I just want to show you what I've done with all the profiles. So on Twitter, we've added a bio. We have our profile picture here. Uh, Pinterest, same thing. We have our profile picture here and a bio. Instagram, we've set up our profile picture again, same bio. And we also have our URL, which we did in the first step, and same thing on Facebook. So this is what our logo looked like after we ordered it, so farmhouse goals. I'm not sure if we're going to keep that long term, but this is what we have for now. What you want to do is I use a service like Canva. You could also get a paid software like Snagit, or you can go with some, there's some different Photoshop alternatives. There's something called GIMP, G-I-M-P, um, and you can play with play around with graphics. I love using Canva, um, and I also have the premium Canva for work version, so that's what I'd recommend. Um, so now what we're going to do is set up our Hootsuite account. So we went to Hootsuite, we signed up, we went with the free option, and we're going to add our Twitter account here. So what you do is press this button, it's going to say, do you want to authorize Hootsuite? So what you have to do is <clears throat> take your Hootsuite and just enter your password and then authorize it. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so now we're connected with Twitter. So next up, what I want to do is connect with Facebook. Usually I'll do Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter with Hootsuite. Um, I don't have my Google Plus page set up yet, um, so I'm going to do that in the next step. But um, you'll you'll want to do that. Create a Google Plus brand page. Uh, you'll honestly want a Twitter account and Facebook. Google Plus isn't as important. I just think it helps with SEO purposes to kind of tell Google when you have some new links. Um, if you have your site map submitted to Google Webmasters, it's not really a huge deal. So I'm going to uh, do Facebook now. Okay, so now we have our Facebook account connected. We have our Twitter account connected. Um, so now I'm just going to do, I'm done adding social networks. And now it's going to add skew a little bit more about your company. So we're going to enter that. Okay, for industry, we're just going to do retail. They don't have like a home decor industry. Company size, 1 to 20. We're not a big company here. So all done. Okay, so this is going to be your Hootsuite publisher um, page. So just to show you how to, right now we have it set up with Twitter and Facebook. So what you do over here is to the left-hand side up at the top, they have farmhouse goals this is your twitter account farmhouse goals where the flag is your facebook account and what you want to do is click always select always select so now when you sign in to hootsuite.com and you come in here to compose a new message it'll automatically select your facebook and uh, twitter accounts and you can just unpin these if you want so it's up to you uh, when you add google plus it'll just click add social network here and that'll help you add it i'm just going to show you how this works real quick so if we come in we just go you know, check out our new website, farmhousegoals.com. And that's it. And let's go send now. So once you do message posted, it's going to automatically post to your Twitter and Facebook accounts. We'll double check just to make sure. We don't have a tweet yet, you see here on Twitter. So let's, and there you go. Check out our new website, farmhousegoals.com. 
So we actually have a little preview here because we have the Yoast SEO plugin set up. Um, come over to our Facebook page, just double check that. There you go, check out our new website, farmhousegoals.com. Um, so this is basically it, we're all set. So now with uh, social media, we'll, we'll outline a social media strategy as we go. I just want to give you the initial setup here. Uh, so we're doing Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. We'll also probably set up a Google Plus page, but I'm going to wait until we're actually publishing some content uh, more significantly to set that up. Uh, but for right now, I have this all set up. You want to make sure you have all these Twitter Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram accounts set up with bios, things like that, so that people know how to find your business. And then once we start publishing good content, you'll start getting more followers. Facebook, sometimes I like to do page likes campaigns to get started, but that's really up to you. So hopefully this helps with setting up your social media accounts. Um, the next thing we're going to do is go back into Yoast. Okay, so what you want to do now is come back to your WordPress page, and we're going to go into Yoast. One of the things I created a video tutorial for was how to confirm your site in Pinterest. So you'll see we have a Pinterest confirmation here. Just check out our YouTube channel. You'll see the video right around this one. Um, it's how to confirm your website in Pinterest. So it makes it a little bit easier. What we're going to do is social. So this is to let search engines know which social profiles are associated to the site. So what we're going to do is go up to each of the profiles. Make sure you're on your profile page. We're going to copy the URL. Come back in. So we have Twitter here. So you just want to make sure that you have the main home page for every single one of them. So this should all be something like this, HTTPS, you know, URL, and then username, save changes. And now you're letting Google search engines know that all your different social pages. So when you have updates there, they're able to, to monitor that easier. Okay, so that's about it for setting up social media initially. Um, if you have any other questions, make sure you leave them in the comments. Uh, now we're just going to make sure that we have a good content strategy going forward. Uh, make sure we're publishing products, things like that, and then uploading them to Hootsuite uh, so that we can tell people when we have new pages, things like that. So thanks for joining us today. Make sure you subscribe for all of our video updates. We always appreciate the support.